And now the place have turned up, so this has just got absolutely epic. Right, Keith's just setting up now, so if we just pan the camera around to the talented photographer. Hello. <laughs> this is Keith Fusco, and we've just been having a little conversation there about models that can sometimes be wooden when taking photographs. So if any models or potential models may be watching this video, just chill out, have fun. Any words of wisdom for potential photographers or models? Just basically have fun, have a laugh. At the end of the day, when you've got that sort of rapport between the model and photographer, then you get better images rather than just sort of saying, right, you stand there, do that pose. It's good to always have a laugh and just sort of make jokes so they feel more at ease. That's what we're saying, the wooden model, so they just stood there like that, don't know what to do. So it's perfect, just having a bit of a laugh. And That's some wise words there. <laughs> so you were talking about YouTube channel? Yeah, so we have the Fusco Studio, Fusco Media YouTube channel, which is sort of all our commercial videos that we produce but we also have it's just a Keith Fusco YouTube channel so like the trash address shoot that we did last time and photography tutorials and things that's what we do on there so it's sort of quite good to get the interaction between people and also advertise other products so if we do a smoke bomb shoot we can do that and sort of put a link in the description so people can buy smoke bombs because it's always nice to just sort of share and give things back to people. Okay Gemma's getting into position now and they're going to be taking some shots and then that's when smoke and explosions and all that's going to happen so let's go a little bit closer going to do is we're going to drop a paint grenade in and the whole idea is for it to go off and it looks like blood splattered and stuff. Get look Annie. I'll be back. I've already spoke about operating a paint grenade. World famous in all the gear wire pull system you just pull it vertically and it's got about three to five second fuse in it and then boom. I've never done this before actually so I have no idea what could possibly happen. <laughs> But Gemma is full of high spirits. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. I got hit by some of the pain. So just go to show how far the spread is. So we've just switched from the Raven 1911 and I've just given Gemma the new Pro N79 grenade launcher. So she's gonna be doing some shots with that. and a Nola Gear wire pull blue smoke grenade. I'm gonna have it behind the tree and smoke balloon out and then these professional guys will be doing all the nice photography shots. Because the way we're doing it is we have the backlight so when the smoke goes in front of us the light sort of emphasizes the smoke and makes it more prominent in the picture as well because if you're shooting with a smoke bomb in front of your subject it's hard to focus and you sort of lose them so if you do it more so behind or to warm it that way then it's easier to get better shots thank you for that key what he said <laughs>
the whole point of doing this video. Originally we started off there and then suddenly the idea was changed and the smoke was still lingering in the woods. Beautiful. And I've just learnt so much just from talking to people here, seeing how things work out. And I'm hoping that this behind the scenes footage really gives people hey, different look at my ideas. Picture and I've got no light. Look, look at this. Oh, that is epic. Beautiful, beautiful. This time fire is going to be involved. It's going to be interesting to see how these photographs turn out. Yeah, we're just getting something to eat now. Heath and the rest of the team are just setting up. So we will have to wait and see how this progresses. But the images so far have been absolutely amazing. That both Keith and Gemma uh, agreed to it. I'm so glad that I'm just part of this. I'm so grateful. I can only just expect good things to come from this video. Fire has been lit, so Gemma's going to be holding these while photographs being taken. Obviously we have safety measures put in place, we've got a fire extinguisher just in case anything untoward happens. Oh, I just saw a fish come out of the water there. Sorry. I just want to say always take precautions if you're going to be doing photographs like this. Keith and the rest of the team are professionals, they do this for a living. You can do so always make sure that you're going to be working with professional people. really successful what Keith and the team were doing there. They're going to do uh, another shot now. I believe Gemma's going to be going in the water. It's going to be a green smoke grenade going off. Gemma is going to be setting the dress on fire so this is going to be interesting close to the water I've brought a fire extinguisher so we have all this safety protocol in
turned up, so this has just got absolutely epic. Police have turned up, a uh, member of the public had actually uh, contacted the police to report that a woman in a white dress was carrying a shotgun. They've just come to investigate, which is fair enough. Well, that's the end of the shoot. Yeah, I've really enjoyed myself today. Bit of a drama when the police turned up, but they were nice enough. We just explained the situation and they just went on the way. Hopefully there'll be more videos to come. Hopefully we might have a, a snow theme later on in the year, but who knows. If you've really enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. If you've happened to stumble across it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and as always, stay tuned. Mm -hmm.